Okay. Hmm. Where we are. Okay, good. We're doing it. All right. So, everybody, um, how you doing? I'm glad you're all back here. So, I hope that uh, everything is good. And I hope nothing's happening with the thing because I checked everything. I made sure everything is fine now. Um, the uh, microphone's good, so the output's good, so you should be hearing me clearly. Okay, so I did promise you that I was going to do the uh, thing again. It's right here. Let me move this out of the way so we don't need it. Okay, right, I'm just going to go through this, well not exactly really quick, but just slow enough so that everybody can see. And I don't have anything else on, I'm just having this where I can just see myself and everything else. And that if I use D2, uh, D line uh, TV connect with it, you'll end up hearing a double voice going, not exactly a, a echo. No, okay. So, without further ado, this is the real deal now. We're gonna. I'm gonna show you the plans for the new Firebird or in Firebird class ships that are gonna be built. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is the uh, wing, very large wing. I'm just going to open up this much and that's it. Because the rest is just really big. Apparently I am going to size this down. It's not going to look like this. Uh, maybe like around... Is this right side? No, it's right side. Here. I'm going to set it down around here somewhere. It's going to be all through the size. Okay, so that's the wing. Let's see what we got here. Oh, the rudders. Oh, let me show you something on this. This part right here. This is a cutout. Okay. And the reason why it has a cutout is so it can handle this. And there's a cutout over here on this side. And on this side here, here. So it can fit into the slot. Um, I'm going to try to make it a little easier on me because when I glue this on, when I didn't have this part right here, this had to be stood up with something. And it was very delicate. So right now, it's not going to be so delicate now with this thing here. I'll figure out what else I'm going to put in there later. The next one is... Ah, the new development. These are the wings. Okay, these are the wings, well, for the front part. These are brand new. This has never been actually a part of the design since day one, like say like 25 years ago or more. And this is totally different. I think, I felt that this should be on it. It'll be somewhere on the front. I don't know where, where but I'll find out for sure. Find out later. Next one. Yes. This is the landing strip or takeoff strip, depending on case situation. Cause I always see if I have. Yeah, I have no preference. Uh, okay, yeah, here. We go. This is the. This is the front, from the right, left to right, right, left, and right here is the front part, 
my back part, I mean, and then when it has strobe lights with fiber objects going through it, yeah, through this area, and I'm going to make it go real fast, and it looks like two are lighting up as they go by, but since uh, Fedora Tron has a thing, but it goes through 1 through 10, not 20, like you see here. So what do you do in a situation like that? Very simple. You take the number one section on the Fedora Tron, where it's listed as one for the one LED light. You put four um, fiber objects in there. And these like uh, 0.50, that's like a half half of a millimeter and what you do you put the first two or four right here and then the next two of four right here and so forth and so on throughout the ship throughout the uh, board here and what that's going to do, if you get the proper speed and the more lighting that you want on it, you can make, you can start from here in the middle and then work its way over. So it's going to have like two going across, if that makes any sense here. But, uh, but I'm going to make it a little faster so it looks like there's like two lighting up here only despite this there's going to be one if you catch my meaning on that but that's how it is and this right here this right here is the section where uh, the elevators are going to be at it's on this side and the other side not just one it's on both sides okay and the next ones are Here's one, it's called the bridge. This is the bridge. And let me see, I should have some. Oh, yeah, here it is. This is the bridge. I'm just trying it this way so I know what we're talking about. Okay, there we go. This will be put on right around here. Slide it in. It's going to be like somewhere in there, but around here. Uh, this will look totally different, but this, this is the only thing I'm going to be doing. Okay? We made out styrene of all as always. Okay? So this one has okay the one from here stop that's nothing don't worry about that but from here all all of this and right on my hand right here this is the neck part that's where bring it back up again This, this, you know, where <clears throat> it'll be like something like this. Okay, right. I got right on there. Catch what I mean. Okay. Let's see what this one. Oh, okay, yeah. Here we go. This. Let's turn it right away. Okay. Okay, right there. 
This is supposed to be the part where that thing that I just showed you will be on top of this. And this is a template for P placed on a PCV pipe. That's that one thing you get at Home Depot or Lowe's, depending on where it is. And these are going to be the cutouts, cutouts right around here. Okay, those are going to be the cutouts. It'll look nice. <clears throat> I don't want to show you these yet. Decals. Okay, here we go. These are plates. That's going to be, depending on what number they are, where it's going to get put around in here. Okay? Like around there somewhere. Depending on what numbers they are here, is the number is going to be placed here, here. Like that looks like number six. Well, I got this thing upside down. Okay. That's upside down now. <laughs> where number six is, is where I would say, where it's going to be like around here. Okay. Depending on the number is where it's going to be. Okay. And here's that runway that's going on top of that thing where the uh, runway lights are going to be on. You know, going to be flashing all across here. More diagrams. The garage area, sport columns for the outside walls, and these are full perspective things that are going to be in the front where you can actually peer inside in the front bow part where you can see inside. But it's going to be per forced perspective. So that's why it's like the way it is. Okay. Well, let me show you. Okay. Yeah, here's one. This is forced perspective. When you appear on in here, looks like you're going to look like, like all the way to the end of the ship. Are you nifty, huh? Okay. more decks where you'll be able to see inside it. Some of them have cut out holes, so that's alright. Okay, here's one that looks like the same thing that this has been photographed already. Uh, copier, of course. Okay, same thing. Right. This is for the inside, and these are for the outside. These are going to be on the wings, and this will be inside the hull. The runways are going to be outside on the wings. I, I think I said that. Before. Okay, that's one. This is. Uh, a fiber class ship called the Dyna Ritz. And this is the only one that's upside down or right side up. This is actually one piece, all this. And here's the Firebirds. It says Firebird. I have the uh, logo. It's here somewhere, I guess. Ah, bingo, right here. Here it is. The logo right there. 
My brother-in-law made this for me. More landing strips. Pass for the other side of the uh, wing. Or take out strips to hang with the yard. And parking areas. One for uh, for aircrafts. And the dot ones is for like uh, a saucer landing area. And as you see, there's a lot of them. Okay. Here are the the things for the uh, elevator. And we're not using this one. Okay, Ooh, okay we're running out. Oh, okay. Well, here's the same thing, but we all know where they go to. All right. Pull this, go into this area here. And last one is oh okay has nothing to do with it, but these are my new benches that I'm gonna put off in the basement when the time comes. Okay, uh, let me see what I can do here. Let me see, I know you guys will have questions. I don't know if you're here or not, but let me bring up uh, D Live. Okay, all right, there we are. And nobody's watching yet. Hmm. That's okay. That's all right, I don't have a problem with that. But that's exactly as long as I want to go. Okay, that's it. And for those who are going to be watching, I am going to probably put this on to, uh, since we're on not doing thing here, get rid of this. All right. I'm also going to put this on YouTube. Okay, so that will be very good. And it's now 9.50 p.m. We're going to be on for like 20 minutes. Okay, but that's all we need. And we're done this. And hopefully I'll sign up cast this on YouTube soon. For those people who want to see it. Okay, so. Well, that's it for now, I guess. Unless anybody else wants to say, have something to say, but there's nobody on here. That's alright, it's not a problem. Okay. Alright, so that's it. Goodbye for now.